there and happy Sunday. Today is Sunday. It is the weekend. We have some 80s music in the background and you might notice that I have a special guest today. This is my mom and we're going to test her knowledge to see if she is smarter than a fifth grader. I'm, um, I'm, just, I'm just saying I think she's a little bit nervous and so we're going to just go with it. She, When what, when were you in fifth grade? What, what decade were you uh, in? Um... I would say um, early 70s. Early 70s. So remember we learned about the 80s, which we are listening to 80s music. So remember this was a long time. So are you ready for the video to begin? Are you ready? So what is a summary? A summary. Um, I think that's when you tell what the story was about. Yeah, so it's like the main idea, the most important part of a story. Yes, good job. Okay, so what, so in summaries, we do something called text evidence. What is text evidence? Well, I don't think it involves texting. <laughs> um, proving a point, maybe something about you have to prove what you're writing. I don't, I don't know. Kind of. So text evidence is when you actually give credit to the author from that source. So like quoting the exact text. So like if you have an article, you want to be in the article, blah, 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 blah. That's text evidence. Okay. Okay, next one. What is theme? Theme would be the topic is what I think it would be. The theme of it is what the... Is it a story or a paragraph? So if I said, or oh, this? tell me the theme of this story, or we read it. It's the topic of the story. It's what you are writing about. Like if you were writing about, um, what, no? Oh, no, I'm wrong. <laughs> so you're thinking of maybe like the main idea. Yes. So theme is That's the message. Topic. Theme is like the message of the story, the lesson learned. Like, you know, never give up, uh, friendship. It's like the theme of the story, you mm -hmm. know, never give up when times are hard. So that's, Isn't that the topic? No, not necessarily. When we learned it, it was the topic. <laughs> so I tell them theme is the message, like the, message, the message or the lesson learned of the okay. story. So, okay, next one. Author's craft. Author's craft? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Okay, this is not anything <laughs> that we were taught. <clears throat> So author's craft would be what the author is crafting. Crocheting, <clears throat> knitting, it's her craft. And the author's craft obviously would be writing because that's what she's doing. Okay, the I don't know. So basically that doesn't make any sense at all. So basically author's craft is like the art of writing. So the decisions made by the author to like the decisions made by the author. So repetition is an author's craft. Sure? Yes. Okay. Um, rhyming is an author's craft move. You know, coming back to the beginning is an author's craft move. So it's like the art of writing, like the art of the writer. They chose to do it a certain way, it's like their craft. Hmm. Next one, author's. I thought it was knitting, but okay. Yeah, it's all good. Um, author's purpose. The author's purpose is to get the point across in the story. Kind of. I'm so flunk all of these. <laughs> so basically, it's like the why. The, what's the author's purpose? Is the purpose to persuade? Is the purpose to inform the writer, or is the purpose mm. to entertain? So if it's a narrative story, the purpose is to entertain the writer. Mm -hmm. If it's to persuade, maybe you're doing a persuasive or opinion essay, and you're like, I think that school uniforms should be allowed. Their purpose is to persuade the reader. And if you're teaching about something... Well, that's kind of giving their opinion. Kind of. But it's like their purpose for writing. If they were trying to pursue yeah. it. Okay. Okay. Um, what is the plot? The plot of the The plot story. is the main thing that's happening. So, if it was a story of someone got murdered... <laughs> Okay. If someone got murdered, the plot would be someone got murdered. <laughs> we were trying to figure out who did it. <laughs> okay. That's the plot. There has to be, like, the reason. Yeah, it's like the, so basically it's like the sequence of events. So we think of a story arc when we do plot. Kind of the rise in action, the climax, that conflict of the story. The murder. And then the falling action and the resolution of the that story. That would have been okay. in my story. So, okay. 
Sorry. Anyway, um, what does it mean to compare and contrast a story or source? Well, to compare, you're comparing something to something else. Another um, opinion and contrast would be the like it would be the opposite yes. kind of. Yes. Yeah. So comparing is just finding the similarities, mm -hmm. and contrasting is when you find kind of the differences. So I basically got that one kind yes. of right. Okay. What does synthesize mean? Synthesize. Mm -hmm. Well, I know what a synthesizer is. That's in music. Okay. So does it mean to put things together? Yes! <laughs> it's when you put two sources together. Wow. Yeah, so she's good. Um, okay, what's a, what is a, um, what's a metaphor? A metaphor, it's a word that means kind of the same thing. Kind a metaphor. Of. So a metaphor. if I said, it's a different word, it has the same meaning. Mm, so no? basically, if I said, um, I am a busy bee, or I was a busy bee last year when I was busy all the time, it's when you compare uh, two things using is or was or am or are. Mm. Like I, I am a busy bee. It's like you're not literally a busy bee, but it's your, it's just a figurative language term. I was sick that day when they learned that. Okay, it's okay. I've heard, I've heard um, that. what is a source? It's where your information is coming from. Yes, that is correct. Where you get information. So sources could be books, articles, in our someone else. Mm-hmm. Yep. You could do. When our TV or, or mm -hmm. it's just newspaper anywhere you, article. Yep, anywhere you get information. And, and when we do summaries and when we Dictionary. write mm -hmm, when we write opinion and informational essays, we always say, well, in the source, blah, 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 or in source one, we always give credit to the author of that text evidence. So, mm -hmm. Next one, what does it mean to infer? It means to imply. Okay. Like yes. you're trying, you're... explain it it's you're trying to imply this you are um, trying to get across uh, the meaning of it you yes so basically it's you it's a conclusion based on observation so if you saw so if you walked into my classroom and you saw all these 80s music things you are observing that you see all these 80s themes and I would uh, you would infer, infer like that oh, you like the 80s yes music. you would infer like oh maybe it's 80s week this week in the start of this classroom or oh I am inferring like maybe we're gonna do something in the 80s based on those observations does that make sense mm -hmm. okay two more what is dialogue Dialogue is um, the spoken text mm -hmm. or the words. Yes. That's the dialogue. Yes. Do you it's... use quotation marks when using dialogue? Yes. Yes. Um, do you use mm -hmm. a, so let's just say, I went to the store. Would mm -hmm. you say, I went to the store, comma, quote, or would you do, I went to the store, quote, quotation marks, comma? Like, I went, when you're writing dialogue, I went to the store. No comment. No quotations on that one. Is it? Well, if I said, Miss Adderley said, I went to the store. Quotations. Well, do you put the comma before oh. or after the quotation? Like, if you're writing things down. <laughs> like, um, okay. Miss, after. So, if I said. Oh, no. What is that thing you go Something before, something after. So if I said, Ugh. Miss Adderley said, would I go comma quote? Or would I go, Miss Adderley said, comma quote. quote. Is she right? Yes, she is. Comma quote, comma mm -hmm. quote, comma, comma quote. quote. Okay. Um, what is internal dialogue? I think that might be something that you yourself are speaking. Yes. So it's like you're thinking. Like that. Um, oh, good stuff. It's that internal dialogue, right? That inter like you're thinking it. Mm -hmm. Okay. External dialogue. That's what someone else is. Yes. Thinking. It's like saying. you. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Last one. Point of view. Opinion. That's your opinion. That's their point of view. Yes. Oh, kind of. So it's like their point of view is like the perspective. So if you yeah. were telling a story. And you were saying, I did this, and oh, me, I, and me, and myself, that would be first person point of view. But if you were a narrator of the story, and you're saying he, or she, or they, that would be third person point of view. It's like their perspective. Does that make sense? Mm-hmm. Okay. 
So how'd she do? That is... <laughs> um, I'm very sorry. I didn't... It's been a long time since I was in fifth grade. So three super quick more um, ones about writing. Mm -hmm. um, when do we, do you know what a narrative story, what's narrative writing? That's when someone is telling the story. Yes, and you include dialogue. So that story arc, remember that, that narrative story. You want to have a problem and you have a solution at the end. It's like that story arc, right? A narrative, you can use dialogue. You can hook your reader in the beginning by using that dialogue. I mean, imagine, you don't want to make your story boring. So you could say, just start it with that, oh, you'll never believe what I just saw. Or just make it interesting at the beginning because you don't want to be boring. Um, opinion writing. What is that? Or persuasive or argumentative. And the same thing. That is someone writing something that is their opinion yes. or their feelings, and they're trying to get that across. Do you, you use text evidence to make your writing stronger? In opinion writing, do you include sources to make your writing stronger? Well, if it's your opinion, how would you use... Um... Well, so you always have to back up what you're saying. So if you say, I don't think chocolate milk should be in schools... Oh, so then you'd have to do a reference to, yes, yes. See, to like, I about? learned, you know, like, I read this in, in source the New one, York in the article. Times Look at her sort of that. sources. And I think, doesn't it say, a lot of times, like, there'll be a little number by it, and then you look at the bottom of the yeah. paper. Mm -hmm. I, maybe you haven't taught that yet. But okay. they know about sources. Okay. Um, and the last one, what is informational writing? Like, what um, is the purpose? I think that... To, to um, educate. Yes, yes, to teach the reader. Mm -hmm. So I always say, what is the author's purpose? It's the why or the pie. The pie is persuade, inform, entertain. In narrative writing, the purpose is to entertain the reader. You want them to be kind of excited, mm -hmm. use that dialogue. Mm -hmm. um, in opinion writing, the author's purpose is to persuade the reader, convincing the reader, well, I think this because, bam, 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 reason one, two, three, and then go on and explain. And then in our uh, informational writing, the purpose is to inform the reader. Today, I'm going to teach you about this, this, this. First, I'm going to teach you about this type of penguin. Next, I'm going to teach you about this type of penguin. And you use that text evidence still in each paragraph. Anyway, any other questions or thoughts? That's what we learn in fifth grade. That's, that's good. It's, um, I didn't do that great, but it's been a long time since I've... Yeah. Well, Since I've been in fifth grade, yes. so. Well, that is all today. Thank you for joining. You are the second guest on the YouTube channel. Oh my. Oh wait, is this on the internet? Yes. No. Oh no. <laughs> Someone didn't tell me that before we started. <laughs> Oops. But yes, Mrs. Bates was the first oh. appearance and she mm -hmm. was unexpected, so. Can I get a do-over? <laughs> Anyway, you did great. Round of applause for Miss Hadley's mom. So anyway, um, make good choices, be kind, and always throw that kindness like confetti. Peace out.